It has a thousand times more nutrients than any other fruit or vegetable. Algae is a food, it is not a supplement, it is a whole food. In fact, it's the most studied food in the world. Uh, there are 100,000 studies documenting the health benefits. More protein than steak. You, your families, nobody ever has to worry about getting the proper nutrition ever again. Sea moss can't hold a candle to, to algae. The highest concentration of nutrition in the universe. Using that quote from NASA, it's the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. This is the answer. You never have to eat another vegetable again in your life. It has 18 of the 20 aminos, including the nine your body can't make. So it's a complete protein, um, highest collagen in the world, more than collagen powder, highest chlorophyll in the world. The chlorella is a wellness algae. This pulls out toxins, builds your immune system, uh, heals your gut. Spirulina nourishes your body, gives you energy, protects your mitochondria, and scientifically proven and used for 60 years in Asia. Why should the Asians be the only ones enjoying the benefits from this, right? It's our turn. Today I have with me Catherine Arnston with Energy Bits. Catherine, what's so great about algae and what would be helpful for us to know about it? Yeah. Well, um, Energy Bits is the company I founded 14 years ago. We sell algae tablets. You're going to find out their spirulina and chlorella algae, and you're going to learn what what why they're so different, what they do differently in your body, and why we need them now more than any other time in the uh, in the history of our life here on Earth. Um, and Maybe what I'll do is I'll give you a backdrop about why we need algae so badly, because you're going to find out it is the most nutrient dense food in the world. And uh, that endorsement isn't just my my opinion. Um, the United Nations has endorsed spirulina algae as the answer to world hunger for over 50 years because it has the highest concentration of protein in the world. It has three times the amount of protein as steak. Ours is 64 percent protein and it's a sustainable crop. Also, NASA has been endorsing uh, algae for 50 years as well uh, um, and says that it has a thousand times more nutrients than any other fruit or vegetable. Uh, it, algae has also been grown in Asia for over 60 years where it's as big as the beef industry is here. You're going to learn that algae is a food. It is not a supplement. It is a whole food. We're going to talk about that as well. And in fact, it's the most studied food in the world. Uh, there are 100,000 studies documenting the health benefits. We're going to talk about a few of them today. Can't go through all of them. So it's very solid scientific foundation. Um, but you don't know about it because algae just isn't grown here. And uh, nobody's told you about it because, um, you know, the pharmaceuticals don't want, companies don't want you to know about these nutrients that will protect your health. It's unpatentable because it's a vegetable, just like broccoli. So the biotechs don't want you to, you have no interest or incentive to tell you about it. Um, and you usually only find out about really important things from entrepreneurs because something like algae uh, isn't new. It's, it may be new to you, but uh, you didn't know about kiwa or chia or matcha or CBD or collagen powder probably until about 10 years ago. And these things, including bone broth, have been used in other countries for centuries. But uh, usually uh, an entrepreneur who wanted to introduce it to America had to educate you on what it was and why it was good for you. And that's what I'm here to do today is to educate you about algae, what it is and why it's good for you. So why is it good for you? Well, our rates of chronic disease are escalating. Heart disease, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's. There is no stopping this train of disease in spite of all the billion dollars of uh, money being spent on various scientific research and scientists and i'm not alone in this um i'm studying for studying for my phd but there's lots of uh, documentation about this the reason why most people are getting ill are twofold one our food simply doesn't have any nutrition any, in it anymore. Um, there are studies that show you, broccoli has like a tenth of the nutrition in it from 50 years ago. The food you're eating is not the food that your grandparents ate. Our soils are so overcropped, there's no nutrients left in the soil for the vegetables to pull up. So even if you are eating vegetables, there just isn't the same nutrition in it. Something like 70% of food being consumed these days is processed. So heat damages or deactivates most nut nutrients. 
and it's loaded with things like sugar and gluten and glyphosate and pesticides. Um, and these are not good for you. They do not nourish your body. We know we have to plug our cell phone in every night so it will work the next day. Well, your body is also a very ex uh, expensive piece of equipment and it needs particular way, um, things to, to uh, fuel itself to generate what's called cellular energy but you're not getting it from your food today. Even if you are eating organic, it's just not um, the same. So algae, as you're gonna find out, is the most nutrient dense food in the world. I'm gonna show you, um, we sell our, tablet, our algae in tiny tablets. Uh, each tablet has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables, which you didn't have to cook it, clean it, eat it, throw it out, get gas from it, nothing. And we're, we'll go into that in greater detail. So why you need algae, number one, is you're not getting nutrition from any other source, period, not any food at all. Um, and to get the kind of nourishment you would need from food, you would probably have to eat 24, day, 24 hours a day. <laughs> and we certainly don't have that amount of time. Um, and as you're gonna find out, these tablets are effortless to take, you just swallow them and you're done in seconds. I call them your nutritional insurance, at least spirulina. The other reason why people are getting sick is our bodies are loaded with toxins. Uh, the average adult I read uh, in a paper has 700 toxins in them. This is glyphosate, pesticide, things from the air, your food, your, your cosmetics, your clothing. It's everywhere. And these toxins uh, lodge in your cell walls and your cell membranes and prevent your body from communicating, your cells from communicating, from functioning properly. So spirulina, as you're going to learn today, will fill all the nutritional gaps that you are missing, all of them. And chlorella, which you'll find out later today, we call ours recovery bits, uh, pulls out toxins, heavy metals, lead, mercury, radiation, aluminum, pesticides, glyphosate, um, uh, molds, uh, alcohol, <laughs> lactic acid. So th this will solve that problem. So the two of them literally solve all the problems that are causing all of these health issues. And even if you are healthy, it, you need to be taking these to protect what you have, because um, you're going to find out that your body slows down the production of certain nutrients that protect you from free radical damage. And after the age of 30, it slows down until 40, you have none. So I'll tell you what they are, and they're all in the highest quantity in the algae. So, so even if you are healthy, you must protect what you've got because it, it will be a slippery slide downwards because of the documentation that's been done for decades that uh, of what happens because of lack of nutrition and too many toxins. So, uh, so that's why we need algae more than ever today, um, because we're not getting nourishment from our current food supply and we're loaded with toxins. We have to get rid of them. Wow. Okay. You blew my mind in the first 30 seconds. <laughs> my first question is about the protein. It's more protein than steak. So how, why don't people know that? And what if you're eating steak and spirulina? Oh, that sure. That's protein? Yeah. Well, it, it, you know, the, you know, the, the thing with, first of all, it's by weight and, and it's all, you can go online. And again, I don't make any of this up and we do lab third-party lab tests. Uh, our algae is considered the highest quality, most nutrient dense because we sell through doctors, functional medicine, chiropractors, uh, naturopaths. So they need to see that what we say to them, um, uh, about what's in the algae or what's not is accurate because they're going to be recommending this to their patients. So we do third party lab tests that prove that we've got all these, all this high protein, but nonetheless, you can go online. Um, in fact, in the late 1800s, a Danish scientist discovered that algae had the highest concentration of protein in the world. And so that was documented as late as, as early as the late 1800s. And then in the 19, early 1900s, the Germans continued the research. And in fact, a scientist by the name of Otto Warburg won a Nobel Prize in, I think, 1931. Uh, he was working with chlorella algae. This is one of the algae we'll talk about today. His Nobel Prize was uh, from discovering that cancer cannot exist in an alkaline cell. And you're going to find out algae is the most alkaline food in the world. Uh, but uh, and again, they re reconfirmed the high protein concentration uh, of uh, in both the algae, spirulina and chlorella. So so the knowledge of the high concentration of protein has been around for a very long time. But here's the thing. And I mentioned earlier, there's 100,000 studies documenting the health benefits of algae. The reality is scientists like to talk to other scientists. It's just the way they are. Um, they have you know, PhD jargon, they write all these papers. Um, and 
um, when I, I started the company 14 years ago, when my sister had breast cancer, she's fine now, but her oncologist told her to change her diet to an alkaline diet because it would help with her healing. And, and this was in Canada, by the way, and her oncologist was a female. And I have to believe that the doc, her oncologist told her to change her diet because A, she knew about cancer not being able to exist in an alkaline environment. And B, you're going to find out chlorella and spirulina algae have the highest chlorophyll in the world, not just the highest protein, but also the highest chlorophyll. And chlorophyll has been proven to build your immune system. And uh, uh, strength. so she was going through chemo. So she, her doctor wanted her to have the high, strongest immune system. So the knowledge of this science of high protein, high chlorophyll, and all the other things we're going to talk about has been around, but it doesn't make its way out into the public because scientists don't have that kind of time. And I didn't actually come from a science background. I had a business, an MBA, although I am getting my PhD now. Um, so I'm actually the perfect person to help people understand this because I know what it feels like not to know any science. So I've read over 3,000 what's called PubMed articles. These are scientific papers, peer-reviewed papers that are available online to connect the dots between um, metabolism, healthy cell requirements, algae, the nutritional profile of algae, and, and figured out all the things that algae has, which are heavily documented in science that people need, except the scientists don't know that it's in the algae. So, so I'm here so that you don't have to listen or dig, 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 dig down into all these scientific papers, unless you want to, but it's, it's, it's hard going. I'll tell you, it's, it's really, these papers are 22, 25 pages long and uh, very complicated. But um, so this is why people don't know about the science. Some people do, scientists do, <laughs> researchers do, but the average consumer does not. And it's a crime. And that's why I do what I do. It says here that Catherine learned that algae's vast healing properties were documented in tens of thousands of scientific studies, but that none of these studies or benefits were known outside of Asia. Why is that? Why would they keep it contained in Asia? Well, it's not that it's contained. It's just that 99.9% of algae is grown in Asia. Japan, China, Taiwan, we grow ours in Taiwan, which is the gold standard. Korea, they take algae every day like we have tortilla chips or uh, any kind of you know, vitamin C. In Japan, they don't take supplements at all. They just take chlorella algae because it's proven to build your immune system. So the reason it's not that it's, you know, purposefully kept away from the Americans. It's just that there's no incentive to tell them in Japan. Mm -hmm. You can't ride your bicycle to school without going by an algae farm or take the train to work without going by an algae farm. They're everywhere in America. We have cornfields and wheat fields, maybe tomato patches, strawberry fields, no algae. So there's just no awareness of it at all. People don't even know that spirulina is an algae. And I'll talk to you about the different types of algae in a minute. I do plan to grow it in Florida. And so uh, there is a little bit in Hawaii, I will say that. So, so it's, it, there is some of it in America, but it, it is just not known. And so there's no there's nobody informing, uh, educating the public about anything is a very time consuming um, proposition. <laughs> and there was a company called Vital Proteins that uh, came out, launched about 10 or 12 years ago. They taught everybody in America about collagen. Uh, nobody knew about collagen being important for your joints or for your skin or bone broth being important. So um, ancient, I think there's a, 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 a Dr. Josh Axe, uh, he owns a company called Ancient Nutrition. I used to see him at all the same chiropractic shows. You know, he's really the one that put bone broth on the map, but bone broth has been used for centuries in other countries. Even your great grandmother knew to put chicken, you know, boil a carcass of a chicken and make chicken soup because of the things, all the nutrients that would be, uh, re, you know, uh, available from the bones. So, so there's amazing historical use of these very, um, basic nutritional, natural food groups, but there's no incentive for anyone to, te to tell you about them because there, there's, uh, you know, that's why I'm doing what I, I, I did. I started this just to help my sister. And then I, gave up my corporate career and went back to school and studied nutrition 
And then I start, started teaching plant-based nutrition, trying to get people to eat more vegetables, found out it was too hard for most people, took too much time, they were too heavy, or they had gas, or they threw them out, or the kids wouldn't eat them, or their husbands wouldn't eat them. So that's what led me to do a deeper dive to find where how I could get the nutrition of vegetables into people without any work, because the work wasn't working. <laughs> And that's where I found algae. And as I mentioned, and I'll go into greater detail in a few minutes, um, they come in these little tablets. Each tablet has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. So you, your families, nobody ever has to worry about getting the proper nutrition ever again. One tablet, well, we recommend 10 spirulina in the morning and 10 chlorella at night, and I'll explain why later on. But that way, um, spirulina, I call your nutritional insurance because it fills all your nutritional gaps. And uh, chlorella, I call your health insurance because it will keep you healthy and you'll never have a cold again in your life. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm proof of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't wait to share this with everyone I know. This is what everyone is getting for their birthdays that has a problem with eating healthy. This is fascinating. Okay. I've never heard of an algae farm. I eat spirulina every single day. And now thanks to energy bits, it makes it so simple when I'm on the go. I also have a powder form that I put in my salads every single day. Yeah. But the way that I always thought of spirulina in my mind, I put it in the same category as like sea moss. Um, and I just imagine it coming from the ocean. I didn't know there were algae farms. Oh, well, and nobody does because yeah. nobody's told you. <laughs> uh, they've been around for 75 years. Uh, the Asian, the Japanese, you know, are the ones that really created the algae industry. So, so let me step back um, to help you and your community. So first of all, algae was the first life on earth, not just the first plant, the very first life. And that was 3.4 billion years ago, and it's still here. So it's doing something right. Number two, algae is in the ocean. Uh, it's everywhere. And sea moss can't hold a candle to, to algae. But let me help you understand what algae is because it's its own food category. There's two types of algae, macroalgae and microalgae. Macroalgae is that stringy stuff that you see washing up on shore, also known as seaweed, dulcer kelp. Now it's called seaweed because it's only in the sea. It's only in the ocean. And it's still good for you because it has high fiber, high iodine because it's from the ocean, but it has virtually zero nutrition. So high fiber, zero nutrition. You can go get a bag of kelp noodles, a big bag, and you'll see there's like four calories in there because there's no nutrition. It's just fiber so and iodine. Still good for you, but no nutrition. Microalgae is completely the opposite. Also, macroalgae, as I said, only in the ocean. There's like four or five strains. There's blue or sort of brown, red, green. Microalgae is in the ocean, but also everywhere. It's in the lakes, the rivers, the streams, the soil, your swimming pool. It's everywhere and it feeds everything. And there are tens of thousands of strains of, of microalgae. One strain that we're going to be talking about today uh, is blue-green, and spirulina is one type of blue-green. Just like you say, well, we have apples. Well, one strain of apple might be Macintosh, another one might be uh, green, green apple, another one might be Gaia. So there's lots of blue-green algae in the ocean, but the one that's harvested as a food crop is spirulina. Spirulina is not from the ocean. So if you read about a toxic blue-green algae closing your favorite beach, we're not talking about spirulina. It's just another strain of blue-green algae. And by the way, I tell people, poor algae gets the bum rap because algae only shows up in the ocean and what it does in your body is the same thing, to kill bacteria, to absorb toxins. It's the cleanup crew. So the reason why you see algae closing your beach is because somehow toxins or bacteria got into the water which you couldn't see, and algae will show up because it, it gobbles it up and turns it into oxygen. And, and uh, so it's the cleanup crew. And it does the same thing in your body. It kills bacteria in your body. So back to the microalgae. It's everywhere, tens of thousands of strains, and virtually zero new, uh, fiber or no fiber at all. Spirulina has zero fiber because it is a bacteria called a cyanobacteria. Chlorella, which we're going to talk about 
uh, later as well. It's it's the green algae. It does have fiber in it, but ze virtually zero fiber and the highest concentration of nutrition in the universe. There is nothing in the world with more nutrition than than microalgae. That's why we have that quote from from NASA. We have a quote from from uh, uh, you know from the United Nations, and uh, every scientist knows about the nutrient density of spirulina and chlorella algae. Unfortunately, you, you know, consumers don't. Just to give you an idea of why you can get so much nutrition, these microalgae are called microalgae because they're microscopic in size. You can't see them with your eye. You could get almost a million of them on the head of a pin. That's how tiny they are. They feed the whales. They feed all the ocean animals. Um, they, really, they release oxygen on Earth. They provide us with 80% of oxygen. This is uh, plankton, for example. It's all from the same family. It's all algae. They give it fa fancy names, but it's all algae. So microalgae, tens of thousands of strains, most concentrated nutrition in the world, zero fiber or virtually zero fiber. And the strains called spirulina and chlorella are not in the ocean. They are harvested as food crops. Here's a spirulina farm, and here is a chlorella farm. We grow ours in Taiwan, which is world-renowned for having the highest quality algae, and we're renowned for having the highest quality tablets. So we grow it in tripa-filtered spring mountain water. We air dry them without high heat, which preserves the nutrients, and then we press them into tablets that we call bits because they're bits of food. But this is aquaculture. You've heard of uh, hydroponic um, vegetables growing hydroponically, like tomatoes or lettuce, it means it's grown in water. So is, so is uh, spirulina and chlorella. So whether you buy it from us or you go to Target or Whole Foods, 99% chance your, your spirulina and chlorella grew in, in fresh water farms, not the ocean. And I urge, there, are, there is a company that does grow spirulina in Klamath Lake, and there are a few companies that do grow it in, in the oceans. Please don't use that. You cannot keep microtoxins out of algae grown in wild bodies of water. There are always going to be my, microtoxins in wild bodies of water, and it is not a controlled environment. Algae will absorb whatever's in the water. That's why it shows up to clean up your, your beach. And it will do the same thing in water. That's why having pristine water when you grow it as a, as a, you know, when you're growing it as a farmed vegetable is critical because if it's grown in the lake or it's grown in the ocean and we do, we do tests for microtoxins, we never have any because our water is so pristine, but uh, just, you know, do please do yourself a favor and do not buy algae grown in the ocean or any other lakes lakes. So um, here again, we grow it in fresh water. We air dry it into um, powder which is very important to know that we do not use high heat because there's some really critical antioxidants we're going to talk about today that protect your mitochondria. And they are damaged and deactivated by high heat. And virtually all the other companies use high heat because they are lower quality algae. So they have to get to market quickly to sell more. So that high heat deactivates very important antioxidants and enzymes we'll talk about. But we don't use it. So ours are active and alive. And then we press them into these little tablets. Um, that I, I showed you earlier that are about the size of a baby aspirin that we, we call bits because they're bits of nutrition or bits of food. And there's so much nutrition in one tablet. It's using that quote from NASA. It's the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. Wow. And a lot of people have stomach distress. They can't take fiber. As you get older, you have a difficulty digesting fiber. Um, when you travel, you can't very well uh, carry vegetables around in your pocket. So often you get constipated. Uh, I have so many moms that tell us, you know, they buy all these vegetables, the kids never eat them, they throw them out, it's a huge waste, or they're so busy at work, they never get to cook them. And so they all the cucumbers get slimy, and you know, they throw them out, your arugula goes yellow. This is the answer, you never have to eat another vegetable again in your life. Because um, chlorella, as we're going to talk about in a minute, has 500 times more chlorophyll than um, arugula and 25 times more than liquid chlorophyll. There is nothing with more chlorophyll, and you'll learn why chlorophyll is so important. And it has 40 vitamins and minerals, 64% protein. It's crazy. This is the future of fast food. This is truly fast food. If you can swallow water, you can get the nourishment you need in seconds. I chew mine. They're completely chewable. Um, I will say that most people 
find the spirulina a, a very challenging flavor. It's the darker one. Uh, we call ours uh, uh, energy bits, and we're going to talk about it gives you energy, which is why we call it energy. Um, but you can chew them if you want. They, uh, I put sea salt on mine and chlorella, which is the other one. It's a wellness algae, uh, uh, pulls out toxins. We'll talk about that in a minute. We call ours recovery bits because it helps you recover from your day. It tastes delicious with uh, pistachio nuts or macadamia nuts. I eat them all day long, all day long. So um, you can eat them, swallow them, put them in a smoothie. Um, but if you don't like the taste, just swallow them. There's no repeat like fish oil. In fact, taking spirulina, um, you don't have to take fish oil ever again. Uh, this will also replace a multivitamin, a CoQ10, a biotin, a magnesium, potassium. Um, and a lot of people take fish oil. I can, I tried for years to take fish oil. I tried every brand, every flavor, always kept burping it up. Uh, and, you know, there's overfishing of the fish for the fish oil, but it's always, it's rancid by the time you get it. So I remind people, well, where do you think the fish got the omega-3 from that's in the fish oil? Huh? Mm. Algae. They got it from algae. So save the fish, save the oceans. Save yourself because it won't go rancid like the fish oil does, which means it's inflammatory instead of anti-inflammatory. Just get it from the spirulina. So you can save money and time because this is A, food. B, it's loaded with everything that you need. And if you swallow it, good to go. By the way, it also satisfies your hunger. It doesn't interfere with your fast. You, If you had 10, you wouldn't be hungry for a couple of hours. If you had 30, it could be lunch. 30 calories, one calorie per tablet. Anybody who's taking the LGP ones, please take spirulina because those L LPG ones you don't eat and your body's constantly regenerating. And if you don't give your body what it needs to regenerate, it won't, not in a healthy way. And the weight loss that you're losing is coming from muscle loss because you're not eating. You're not eating protein. Spirulina has the highest protein in the world. So a lot of people are calling algae, especially spirulina, Mother Nature's version of LGP-1 because it does release that in your stomach uh, and stops you from being hungry. You could lose weight and not be hungry and be fully nourished by taking spirulina. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, one calorie for 30 calories, you can be full for five hours. Amazing, wow. right? Wow. Amazing. If you're listening to the audio version of this, make sure you either check out the, uh, video version on either Spotify or YouTube. So you can see the graphs and, and the visuals that Catherine just shared of the gorgeous farms. And then also just the visual of seeing the size of the tablet next to a plate full of veggies. I can't tell you how much time I spend cooking and eating veggies. And I didn't know I could replace them. Yeah. Well, nobody does because no one's right. told you. <laughs> yes. I am so grateful that this is, you're taking on this mission. Yeah. And then the other idea that you just, you can make trail mix. You can yeah. make trail mix so healthy by just putting the tablets in there. And I love the taste of them personally. Oh, great. Well, that makes me very happy because I love them too. Um, yeah. By the way, they're safe for children, newborns, teenagers, grandparents, pets love them. Pets love them. And that's a true sign that you've got something healthy because your pets are smarter than we are. So, uh, so if you drop one on the floor, they will, they will, first time they try it, they will rush over. And we've, we've had lots of people send us pictures of after their pets had a few, and then someone just casually left the bag on their, on their countertop, the pets will find a way to jump up. This has happened so many times, rip open the bag and eat the entire bag. Oh my God. So just be aware, the animals love it. In fact, we had a funny story. Uh, uh, one of our customers was hiking in the Appalachians and in the middle of the night, their campground was broken into by a bear. So everybody jumped out of their sleeping bags and ran away. And two hours later, they came back <clears throat> and the bag of supplements that they had brought had been ripped open, but all the supplements were still there. The bag of energy bits, spirulina that they had brought with them had been ripped open and licked clean. <laughs> Not wow. a single tablet left. So even the bears know what's good for them. <laughs> wow. What a story. What, Isn't that a riot? What, a, um, what an endorsement from a bear. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to say the animals know what's good for them. And mm -hmm. while we're talking about the bags, they do come, we sell them, we sell them in canisters, which are really fun, but also the best value are the large bags. They have um, 
a thousand tablets in them. And if you took 10 tablets a day, which is what we recommend um, to get started, if you have a health condition, we recommend 30 as a therapeutic dose, but 10 is a good number. It will last you three months, the bag. It contains 551 pounds of nutrition equal um, nutrition equal to 551 pounds of vegetables. And if you took 10 tablets a day, it works out to a dollar a day. A dollar a day to be nourished. Your grocery bills will go down because you're not going to be as hungry. Your vegetable, you won't be buying as many vegetables. And they, they, we have an expiry date of three years. So this stuff, can you don't have to refrigerate it, nothing. So very efficient nutrition, very efficient nutrition, okay? And we have a discount code, 20% discount code, because normally a bag is a $130 and people go, oh my God, it's so expensive. But we have this 20% discount code, Heal Within, that you can use on our website, energybits.com, brings it down to $104. So there's a thousand tablets in a bag. If you do the math, if you do 10 tablets a day, a dollar a day, what can nourish you for a dollar a day? I mean, you could have more. We Our NHL players take 75 tablets of spirulina before a game because they want lots of energy. We'll talk about the different algae in a minute because spirulina gives you energy, which is why we call it energy bits. Um, and it satisfies your hunger, great for fasting. Um, a great If you're on a keto diet, does not interfere with the keto, but a dollar a day. I mean, seriously, and you can wipe out like four or five of your other supplements. Um, we'll send you a chart that shows you how much more cost-effective the algae is because it also remember, it's food, not a supplement. So your body recognizes all the nutrients that are in it because they've been harmonized. There's factors and cofactors and enzymes and coenzymes. So your body can absorb them effortlessly. So it's not just concentrated food, it's bioavailable food, which means your body can absorb it, especially the spirulina because it's a bacteria. So it gets into your bloodstream instantly if you chew it because it goes, it's called sublingually through the mouth. And within minutes, if you if you swallow it, so very efficient, fast, bioavailable, concentrated, effortless, proven, scientifically proven, and used for sixty years in Asia. Why should the Asians be the only ones enjoying the benefits from this? Right, it's our turn. Mm -hmm. Your efficient, turn. <laughs> efficient was the word ringing in my head. I'm just thinking of all the space I'll save in the refrigerator. And you know, trips to to the local farmers market or the grocery store, and yeah, because you can just order this and it's delivered, and now all of your nutrients from your vegetables are there. And yeah, yeah. Oh. And I'm not saying you know to stop eating, although you probably could right. live on spirulina, but this way you can more selectively choose when you want to cook for enjoyment and nourishment. Um, but your nourishment will always come from the spirulina. So you can, you know, have some some uh, uh, cheat meals and not feel guilty about it because you've gotten your nourishment. That's why I call it your, your nutritional insurance. It will give your body everything that it needs for that day. It has 18 of the 20 aminos, including the nine your body can't make. So it's a complete protein, um, highest collagen in the world, more than collagen powder, highest chlorophyll in the world. Um, and it's just, it, like I say, efficient nutrition and usually last we expiry dates are three years. So, um, even if you, if you took 10 tablets a day, it would, you know, as I say, it would last you three, three months, but it replaces so many other things, not just supplements and, um, ingestibles like collagen powder, um, or fish oil, but also food. We have an, we had an 85 year old woman write us a, a couple of months ago and she had been incontinent and couldn't sleep and had no energy. And she started taking the two spirul the spirulina in the morning, which is what we recommend in the chlorella. And she said within days, her energy improved. Uh, she was able to sleep. She was no longer incontinent. And she said, my grocery bills have plummeted because she has these throughout the day. And she's I'm eating one meal a day now. How great is that? And she, I laughed because she said, and I have so much energy now. I just signed up for CrossFit. How fabulous is that? I could just visualize this 85 year old woman doing CrossFit because she now has so much energy from the spirulina and it's not a stimulant kind of energy. It's what's called cellular energy. So it works at the cellular level. And maybe this is a good segue to explain the two different algae because 
people think, oh, energy bets is going to be like a, a Red Bull or a five, five, five hour, whatever it's called, um, or a sugar or, or, a, um, or a coffee. And it's not like that at all. Those are all stimulants and they're, they give you a burst of energy, but then usually a crash as well, especially if it's sugar, because you have an insulin spike and then you have a, you have a drop. So when you take a stimulant, it's like putting paper on a fire and you get a burst and then it, the, the, it, it, the flame goes out. When you take spirulina for your energy, it's like putting a log on the fire. It's very steady, even energy because it's not a stimulant. You could take this right before bed, still get to, you'd still sleep fine. It's what it does is it generates what's called cellular energy, which is called ATP. And your body needs cellular energy for everything, not just running to the grocery store or doing a great workout. This is what's called cellular energy is used for your breathing, your thinking, your heartbeat, your lymphatic system, your digestion, your elimination, your immune system. It's what keeps your body alive is cellular energy. I tell people cellular energy is like money. You have more money, you can do more things. You have more cellular energy, your body can do more things uh, and you have more choices. So when you don't have enough cellular energy, and this traditionally happens, and I'll tell you why in a minute, after the age of 40. Um, so this is when, and because you don't have enough cellular energy, your body can't fight disease very well. It can't function very well. Your brain, you have brain fog, you have weight gain, you have hormonal issues, you have digestive issues. It's because there isn't sufficient cellular energy being produced any longer because you've crossed the threshold where your mitochondria are no longer protected. And when, and they're the ones that make the cellular energy. And as you're going to find out, spirulina has the nutrients that improve your cellular energy and protect your mitochondria. So now it gives you cellular energy in the moment to run to the grocery store or have a great workout or or do whatever you need to do, but it also long-term protects your mitochondria and they're the ones that are generating the cellular energy. Um, to give you an analogy to help you understand how this works, think of your body as a building. In a building, you have offices, right? And in the offices, the way you can do work is because you have lights. Without the lights, you can't do any work. The good news is in the office building, when the lights go out, maintenance crew comes in, replaces them, everybody's happy, work continues. In your body, which is the building, the equivalent of the offices are your cells. And the equivalent of the lights are your mitochondria. The mitochondria are the lights in your, effectively your building, that allows your cells to do all the work because they generate cellular energy. They generate the equivalent of electricity for you. The problem is when you eat a poor diet and as you get older, those mitochondria get damaged and die. And there's no maintenance people to replace them. So except spirulina. Spirulina is sort of like the maintenance crew. They come in and replace the light bulbs. They've, they fix your mitochondria and, and restore them so that they can start working again. So you don't have to have, as you get older, the decreased cellular energy that everyone assumes is part of aging. No. Aging is, is na a natural process, absolutely. Declining is not. We have, in our society, we have associated aging with declining. And I'm here to tell you, it's not the same and it's not equal to one another. Aging, yes, declining, no. But you need to know what's causing the decline so that you can stop it. That's why education is so empowering. And that's why I do what I do is to help you understand how your body works so that you can learn why and to understand how algae works because algae fixes your mitochondria, protects them, restores them, puts the lights back on in your building. That's what spirulina, that's what spirulina does. So much to unpack. I want to first go back and loop around to a question I had about the algae when it comes to the ocean and the farms. You said to never buy it from the ocean. Is that because of the bacteria and the toxins that it absorbs? Yes. Okay. So they're called but microtoxins. And it took me two years to find a lab, it happens to be in Florida, that tests just for microtoxins just in algae. Because, uh, and most of the algae they're testing are those 
algae blooms. They need to know how toxic they are. But they test our algae uh, to ensure there's none in ours because, and there never are because it's ours is grown in triple filtered spring mountain water. But I have scientific papers that were written, you know, like a decade ago that used samples of algae, spirulina algae and chlorella algae that had been taken from a place called Klamath Lake and found, they found toxins, microtoxins in them. And this is because you cannot keep microtoxins out of wild bodies of water. It's so, so instead of saying, well, I can't eat algae because there's going to be toxins, just don't eat algae from a, a wild body of water. Just like if you you wouldn't drink water from a swamp, you'd get a glass of water and it'd be brown and murky. And so you wouldn't say, well, I, I'm going to have to stop drinking water. Just don't drink that water. <laughs> Just don't drink that, eat that algae. Uh, and you want to be careful about where you get your algae because a, a lot, most of it, I will be honest, comes from China. And they are not as rigorous in their growing techniques or uh, honesty, to be perfectly honest, <laughs> about how they grow it and how they dry it. Um, and in most cases, companies that sell spirulina or chlorella algae tablets or or powder, they usually sell anywhere from 50 to 500 other things. This is all we do. We're experts. Mm -hmm. Algae is it. I, I call it my new nickname is the algae gal um, because the, the 14 years of studying algae nutrition, I, I have become an expert uh, and I know what to look out for and, and uh, why ours is so special and why it works so well. It's because of the quality uh, that we've uh, put into the growing techniques. I tell people algae isn't like broccoli. It's more like wine when you make wine the the production processes are really important to determine the quality the flavor and everything same with algae there's a lot of nuance that goes into growing and drying the uh the, the algae into these tablets and and it's it's so much more complex than growing carrots or broccoli and you couldn't you just couldn't do it you have to have a huge farm okay so we know that we can get seven out of the nine essential amino acids Eight. Eight of the nine. Eight, we can get eight of the nine. Where do we get that one other? Oh, amino oh actually, no, it's it's all of the, there's nine amino acids. It has all nine amino acids. Sorry, my mistake. Spirulina it's, or algae? Both of them. Spirulina and chlorella have 18 of the 20 aminos, including the all the essential uh, um, aminos that your body can't make. I think there's nine. I can't remember if there's eight or nine, but it has all of them. Okay. So, so it's a complete then, protein. Yeah. Both wow. Okay. Amazing. The only difference, like spirulina has the highest 64% protein. Ours is, I can't say the same with other companies and chlorella has 60%. And you think, oh, that's, that's still pretty good. And it is still pretty good, but only spirulina gives you energy and satisfies your hunger. The chlorella mm -hmm. is a wellness algae. This pulls out toxins, builds your immune system, uh, heals your gut, spirulina nourishes your body gives you energy protects your mitochondria and because you have so much money mitochondria in your brain it's considered brain food chlorella is a detoxing wellness healing uh, algae that pulls out toxins um, has fiber that feeds your gut biome and uh, loaded with chlor highest chlorophyll which kills bacteria so it's a wellness algae that's why we call it recovery bits because it helps you recover from your health Spirulina is an energizing algae, it energizes your brain, energizes your body, energizes your mitochondria. Um, we actually have two brands of spirulina. Um, the other brand is uh, called Beauty Bits. They are identical. We're not trying to trick anybody. Um, they come in canisters too that are really fun because they, they have a little opening. Uh, they come with a bag inside and you pour the tablets into the canister and then you pour the tablets out through your canister. So oh, these yeah. two are identical. And the reason why there's two, as I started with this one, we had one spirulina, one chlorella, and we actually have another brand called um, Vitality Bits, which is a blend of the two algae. So we had three products, one spirulina, one chlorella, and one blended algae. That's how we started. Now, remember, I started the company because of my sister. And so women's health has always been my number one. And I noticed women weren't buying the spirulina. And my girlfriends literally told me, you got to make it pink and give it a cute name. And mm -hmm. because it has more collagen in it than collagen powder, and it stops free radical damage 
um, uh, including free radicals in your skin. Um, I made a second brand of spirulina and called it Beauty Bits. So they are identical. I say I have a boy spirulina and a girl spirulina. They're my twins. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so that's why there's two spirulina. Um, but they, I if uh, if you had any doubt of which one to get, I would always steer people to start with spirulina because you'll notice it. You'll notice that you aren't hungry. You'll notice that your brain fog is improved. You'll notice that your skin is is better. You'll notice you have more energy. Um, you might be losing weight, and so you'll you'll notice it because it's that kind of algae. Chlorella is a wellness algae, so you won't notice it as much because it prevents you from getting sick, prevents you from getting a cold or a virus. It pulls out toxins. Um, by the way, it helps you sleep because it has highest tryptophan. And, you know, I'll, I'll go through the two different, the two different algae in a minute. But, but um, if you had to choose one, I would always, I usually steer people towards the spirulina first. Mm, that was going to be my next question. <laughs> if, if you're going to start with one, it sounds like spirulina and it doesn't matter if it's the boy or the girl, because right. exactly they're exactly the same. Yeah, they're abs I, this is the one I have on my counter. Women just happen to, you know, it's, I designed everything, by the way. So I designed the packaging so it would be as welcoming and as attractive and powerful and energizing visually as what algae does to you on the inside. I can't help you if I can't get the algae into your body. So if you are, uh, you know, feel comfortable with the packaging and you can carry them in your handbag, um, these canisters come with uh, one of these cute little tins so that you can fill up the tin and always have it in your handbag or gym bag or you go hiking or shopping. And uh, you'll never have to um, worry about having a snack or it'll hold you over until you can have a proper meal. You won't be tempted by those crappy carbs or sugar. Um, I'm very sensitive to sugar. So the, I used to be hy hy hypoglycemic and uh, I'm not anymore. And it's because I take this throughout the day, every day and have for 14 years. <laughs> and would that be okay to leave in the car on like a really hot day? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, the temperature that deactivates some of the nutrients, including antioxidants like superoxidismutase or uh, enzymes is 114 degrees. So, I mean, I know you live in Florida and it is possible that maybe inside your car, it might get pretty hot, but I don't think it would get quite that high. But um, uh, it's really, and it's in if it's in a package or in a tin, it's still sort of maybe protected, but I'm talking about the high heat that's used at the stis when it's being produced that kills enzymes. And anyone who's done on a raw diet or understands nutrition knows that 114 degrees Fahrenheit uh, deactivates enzymes. And one of the nutrients that are protective of your mitochondria who keep the lights on in your, in your cells, um, one of those nutrients is called superoxidismutase and it's an enzyme and uh, it will be deactivated by high heat. So all those lower quality, algae tablets that you're buying at Target or um, Trader Joe's or something, I can almost promise you they used high heat to dry it. You'll still get some protein and you'll still get some, you know, chlorophyll, but you will not probably get active superoxidismutase. Um, also, the blue pigment in spirulina is called phycocyanin. Um, and I'll spell that for you later on. It's been proven to kill cancer cells, but it is also deactivated by high heat. So, you know, if you want to get the highest value and the best bang for your buck, you're going to want to buy something that's going to work for you across the board. Uh, don't cheat yourself for a couple of pennies because your health is too important and cancer is too, uh, is, there's too much cancer. I started the, co the company because my sister had cancer and uh, even younger people are getting cancer earlier and earlier. And uh, um the blue phycocyanin that is in the is in the um, spirulina, as I said, it's been proven to uh, kill cancer cells. So I can show you some of the science about that in a minute. So, so I'm curious. You said that your sister is okay now. Um, was this a solution for her? Well, she did go through chemotherapy. I'm not going to take credit for. Uh, and this was 15 years ago. So mm -hmm. she changed her diet. Her the reason this my company started was because her oncologist advised her to change her diet to an alkaline diet and uh, while she was going through chemotherapy. And it was because of those reasons I mentioned earlier. An alkaline diet is usually a plant-based diet because of the phytonutrients and the chlorophyll 
that have been proven to build your immune system. And she, when you're doing chemotherapy, it wipes out your immune system. So that's number one. Number two, there was that scientist, and there's been thousands, tens of thousands of research ever since, uh, the scientist Otto Warburg, who discovered that cancer cannot exist in an alkaline environment. So there's a scale, a scale of zero to 14 of um, acidity to alkalinity, and algae and chlorophyll are the most alkaline foods in the world. And so when you have an alkaline cell, there's less likelihood that cancer can grow there. So those are the reasons why my sister, I believe, her doctor wanted her to have an alkaline diet. So, you know, I recommended algae. I didn't, you know, document how much she took, but she did change her diet because her doctor recommended it and she did take chemotherapy. So that's combination is what led to her healing, I assume. But that also led me to start exploring and learning and researching alkaline diets, which led me to plant-based nutrition, which led me to algae, which is the most alkaline nutrient dense plant in the world. And nobody outside of Asia knew about its its healing properties. I didn't know about all these healing properties, but I have it every single day. I knew it was good for you, but not to the, this extent. And I'm also happy to know that I'm not having too much of it because yeah. I have it several times a day, but it sounds like you can't really overdo it. Uh, and, and I, it, I, I'll tell you how much I have, and I'm not recommending this to people. It's just that I love it. And I've, um, and I, I have a sensitive stomach, so there's a lot of foods I can't eat, like I mentioned sugar, but I have, oh, probably 100, 150 a day and have for 14 years, every day, every day for 14 years, over 100, 150 tablets a day. You're going to live to 200. Pardon me? You're going to live to 200. I know. I'm going to live forever. I'm, I'm, I'm 68 this year, so I'm not young. Like I'm, I'm old. But no, I, I don't feel old. I don't look old. My This is all my hair, no extensions. It's all my skin, no, no, uh, no Botox. So when I tell you that this stuff works, it I am the poster child for this stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm getting close to 70. And so um, you're probably in your early 30s, I would think. Um, everyone thinks that I'm 40-ish. So I want people to know that this stuff works. And uh, I... I, I, I'm an example of, of how and why it works. And, and, and a lot of it is because these nutrients aren't found in any other food. And if you understand how your body works and you understand what algae is and that it has the nutrients your body starts needing and is no longer has after the age of 30, you start to see it's the key that fi fits the lock. It, this is the mystery. This is the solution we've been waiting for except no one's explained it to anybody except me. <laughs> I was going to point out how sharp and how quick you are and you're just on it because, you know, I've interviewed a lot of people at this point and you're not even taking a sip of water. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, the, my passion for making a difference is what propelled me to get into this. And it just makes me so sad to see the chronic illness. And I see people, I look at them, they're on cane, walkers and canes. And I'm thinking, man, they're, they're probably my age. It doesn't have to be that way, but mm -hmm. you need to take charge of your health and you need to be informed about what works. There's lots of great biohacks out there, cryotherapy, uh, red light therapy, uh, sauna therapy, but a lot of them you have to go out of your home to go get them and they're expensive and um, you have to have devices. And this is why algae is so great because you don't have to go anywhere for it. You buy it online, you can get an auto ship if you want. You can swallow them. If you take 10 a day, it works out to a dollar a day, not expensive, absolutely affordable, saves you money on other supplements and food. This, I'm convinced algae is the answer that we've been looking for and I will do anything I can to get uh, people learning about it, using it, enjoying it, and benefiting from it. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's so true. I mean, nu nutrition, there's nothing that's more important in my opinion. And today, like you said, the soil is depleted. It's hard to find. So this is like, this is like gold and just, yeah. Even, yeah. And no one's coming to save you. I mean, no one can take it for you. Like we no. all have our own bodies. We all have our own health that we have to take care of. And we can, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So it's like, here is an answer. Yeah. 
And the reason I, the other reason I like it is because there's so many of these diets, I tried keto so many times, couldn't do it because I couldn't digest the fat. People, when you tell them they need to change their lifestyle or their food choices, they get, they might do it for a day or two, but they just love something. And maybe it's not the greatest for you, but they're just set in that routine. You mm. don't even have to change anything. Just add the spirulina and chlorella. And if you had to choose between the two of them, the spirulina, that's it. That this will, if you have, think of a boat with a lot, bunch of holes in it and your boat is sinking in the water, this will plug the holes. <laughs> yeah. If you choose to do more and get a bigger boat or whatever by changing other parts of your diet, that's fine. But you don't have to change anything. Just start taking these every day. Uh, give your If you have a family, uh, you can give them to your children, your newborns, especially the spirulina. In Japan, if babies or preemies are born and they can't digest mother's breast milk, spirulina in water is the only thing that keeps them alive. The only thing. And I was curious about that. And I did a deep dive on the nutrients in spirulina. They're virtually identical to mother's breast milk. And we know it's the perfect food, right? So this is number two. Uh. <laughs> So um, for children, give them one or half a tablet for their age. So if they're 10, give them five a day. If they're um, six, give them three a day. You can have more. I, I've been at conferences where families, you know, that, like chiropractic conferences and very it's only chiropractors who come and they often bring their families and they're usually quite healthy themselves. And in a couple of occasions, children would come up and they've been taking algae, spirulina and chlorella algae since they were born and they would come up and have 50 or a hundred tablets in the space of five minutes. I have pictures of little kids with the green on the corners of their mouth. It's adorable. So uh, mm -hmm. there it, it's, it's food. You keep remembering that they're bits of food, not a supplement, nothing artificial, nothing added, nothing subtracted. I can't take credit for algae. That's mother nature, but I can take credit for growing it so carefully that we preserve the nutrients in a way that nobody else does. Um, and when it comes to spirulina, I will point out that you didn't, don't, didn't want to use ours. You could get frozen or fresh spirulina as well. And in fact, there's two uh, wellness institutes, very well known, both of them, I think almost 50 years old. One you might be familiar with, the Hippocrates Institute, which is in Palm, uh, Palm Beach, um, and the Gershon Institute that operates out of Mexico. Both of these centers, they're 50 years old. They they work with patients who are in stage three, four cancer, like really on their final days of life. And they they have about a 90% turnaround rate. And what do they do? They give them spirulina every single day. They also give them wheatgrass and you know red light and saunas. But in the spirulina, there, if it's raw or fresh, it has not been exposed to high heat. So once again, you have the blue phycocyanin, which has been proven to kill cancer cells. I'll show you. Uh, and a lot of their patients are cancer patients. And the um, the uh, the pigment that's found in in um, in uh, the um, the spirulina called SOD superoxidismase, it protects your mitochondria and helps them grow back. So there's um. You know, they they want to work with us because they can't find any other companies that have raw spirulina. Our tablets are raw. Um, and once you leave those those two institutes, it's hard to find frozen or fresh. I'm going to just show you this one little thing about cancer. This was a test that was done. Um, they dyed the cancer cells purple. And it was a 24-hour. This isn't a Petri dish, but uh, there's also live tests in humans. Um, so they put the they dyed the cancer purple, and then they put the phycocyanin, which is the blue pigment, the blue pigment in spirulina. They put the phycocyanin in the Petri dish, and the cancer cells went from there to there in 24 hours, virtually gone. Mm. Because phycocyanin, I'm going to spell that for people who are listening and not watching. Phycocyanin is spelled P-H-Y-C-O-C-Y-A-N-I-N. Phycocyanin, P H Y C O C Y A N I N, does not exist in nature anywhere else except spirulina. And it kills cancer cells. They use it in the chemotherapy treatments. So, who wants chemotherapy? Raise your hand. Not me. So, you can be killing, we all have cancer cells in our bodies at all times. If we have a strong immune system, it will 
you know, keep, and if the cells are slightly alkaline, it will keep the cancer out. But that doesn't, in these days, almost everybody is, is has an acidic diet, too many processed foods, too much sugar. Um, and so it's unlikely that you are in that optimal range of 7.1, which is slightly alkaline. The algae will help bring you back to the alkalinity that you need, but the blue pigment will also kill the cancer cells. So it comes in either one of the brands, Beauty Bits or Energy Bits. Um, and you can Google it, phycocyanin and cancer treatments, and you'll see that I'm telling you the truth. But you know, the, the uh, pharmaceutical industry doesn't want you to know about that. <laughs> right. I do. <laughs> you could not have made it easier for us, Catherine. Thank you. <laughs> Um, is there anything else you would like to share before I ask you our final question? Um, well, there's, I could probably talk for another hour, but I know I've, I've done a, uh, probably a mic drop worth of content. So I think that's good enough. Just know that, um, algae is at least ours is the safest, purest nutrient dense food, safe for every family member, age group, activity, your athletes, your children, your pets, and it's effortless. So you don't have to change anything else. Just try to take the, you know, 10 tablets of the spirulina in the morning or afternoon, whenever you're tired or hungry. And we do recommend the chlorella at night because it's a wellness detoxing algae and your body goes through a detox repair cycle when you're sleeping. So you can take it during the day as well. I do as well, but definitely before bed it has the highest tryptophan in the world, which will help you sleep because that's a precursor to melatonin. If you, um, a lot of people won't, don't like to talk about it, but a lot of people are constipated because they're on medications or they're traveling or they're eating a lot of um, processed foods. Chlorella will um, help you with bowel movements. It's, it pro, um, speeds up what's called peristalsis, which is a bowel movement. So so generally take the, spir the chlorella at night, that's the Recovery Bits brand, and then take the uh, spirulina in the morning, afternoon, um, throughout the day, whenever you're tired or hungry. This is also a pre-workout food, the, the spirulina, the energy bits, and the chlorella is a post-workout food um, because it will pull out the lactic acid. So um, so yeah, just uh, give it a try. And um, as I mentioned, we have this 20% discount code, Heal Within. Uh, you can come to energybits.com and um, put that into the coupon box and you'll get 20% off anything you want. <clears throat> and if you're not ready for a big bag, but remember, a large bag would cost you a dollar a day if you took 10 tablets a day and has the equivalent nutrition of 551 pounds of vegetables. So that's about 30 grocery carts of food right in that little in that that one bag. But if you're not ready to make that commitment financially, that's okay. I completely get it. Uh, come to our website anyways and just um, read the blog because uh, we publish a lot of really great science or go to Amazon and you can buy just a couple of pouches for $6 each. Try them out, see how if you like them and then come back to the website and um, and use your 20% discount code heal within. And uh, you'll you'll see that what I'm telling you is, is, uh, is accurate. On the energy side, just be aware, it's not a stimulant. So you're not gonna feel any big burst of anything. You'll just feel fresh. That's it. Nothing more. Just fresh. No drama. There's no drama with algae. It's just steady Eddie. <laughs> I can attest. <laughs> I love the way I feel when I take it. It's like you just feel awake, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So my final question, I ask everyone at the end and I have a feeling I know the answer, but I have <laughs> to ask it anyway. What is your number one health tip, whether it's mindset, diet, and nutrition, physical, emotional, just the one piece of advice you would like everyone to know? Well, I'll give you two because one is obviously going to be algae. It's the most effortless, concentrated, uh, proven way to improve your health, your nutrition, your energy, your weight loss, whatever your goal is. That would be number one. My number two is sleep. Give yourself the gift of sleep. This is serious stuff. Um, because that's when your body repairs. That's when you're you're getting rid of of uh, toxins, and um, it's easier to uh, do more things during the day if you've had a good sleep. I I I'm up to eight and a half, sometimes nine hours, but I'm very busy running a company. I travel nonstop, and I make sure that I uh, I gift myself the, my sleep. And I have a I wear a mask to block out light. Uh, I actually sleep on a um, grounding sheet, but, you know, you don't have to do anything complicated, but do get yourself a sleep mask and do get yourself eight and a half hours 
nine if you have to. Uh, what do get whatever makes you feel good when you wake up. That's the number that you want to strive for. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm not the same person without my spirulina or my sleep. So <laughs> I'm with you there. Um, if you would like to try out energy bits, if you want to learn more, um, check out the description. All of Catherine's links are there, including the, the code heal within, which will give you that nice 20% discount. And thank you so much for sharing all of that with us, Catherine. If you enjoyed this conversation, make sure you come back next week for another episode with an amazing guest. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Jessica. Be well, everybody. Mm -hmm.